This video will guide you through the installation of Comscope's Mocha Enhanced APD Subscriber Amplifier. The amplifier is available with 5 output ports or 9 output ports. The 5 port model has 1 dedicated voice over IP port and 4 RF ports. The 9 port model has 1 dedicated voice over IP port and 8 RF ports. Mocha devices can communicate across all output ports, including the voice over IP port. As a result, preferential placement of devices on specific ports is not required. However, for optimum network performance, it is best to follow the guidance in this video. The amplifier has a dedicated power in port for direct connection to the power adapter. Remote powering is also possible by using the power inserter, in which case the port labeled out1 slash power in should be used instead. The RF input port is isolated from all of the output ports by an internal Mocha point of entry filter. That means a separate Mocha PoE filter is not needed. The amplifier can be mounted in the desired orientation using the mounting slots on the sides. The power adapter meets Energy Independence and Security Act, also known as ESA, Level 6 standards. If installed incorrectly, it will power down automatically. Once the error is corrected, the power adapter will automatically reset and power on again. The Comscope ESA 6 power adapter is fully backwards compatible with all Comscope subscriber amplifiers. It is very important that you do not energize the power adapter by plugging it into the AC wall outlet until the very last step of the installation. To begin installation, connect the RF cable from the ground block to the in port. If your customer is subscribing to voice services, connect that cable from the EMTA to the voice over IP port on the amplifier. The RF cables feeding the customer premise equipment should now be connected to the amplifier out ports. When using a Mocha gateway, it should be connected to the out2 port for optimal network performance. Then connect the Mocha terminals. When using a 9 port amplifier, connect the furthest Mocha terminals to the out1, 3 and 4 ports, with the closest to ports 5 through 8. For a proper installation, torque all connections to 20 inch pounds or to the value specified by local guidelines. Any unused RF ports should be terminated. When it comes to powering the amplifier, there are two options. The direct power option uses the dedicated power in port, while the remote power option uses the shared out1 slash power in port plus a power inserter. In both cases, the maximum length of the power cable is 200 feet. Note this limit also applies to the combined lengths of the two power cables when a power inserter is used. It is very important when preparing cables for connectorization and installation that there are no braid wires wrapped around the center conductor. This will create a short circuit and the amplifier will not work. For direct power installations, the power cable should first be connected to the power in port on the amplifier. Next, the power cable should be connected to the power adapter. Remove the screw that holds the electrical wall plate in place. Plug the power adapter into one outlet so that the second outlet is still accessible. Secure the power adapter to the wall outlet using the 3 quarter inch screw that is provided. Attach the Do Not Disconnect yellow sticker on the cable. The LED on the power adapter should be lit green, indicating that power is active. The LED on the amplifier should turn on once the power adapter is plugged in, indicating proper installation and operation of the system. For remote power inserter installations, the cable carrying both RF and power should first be connected to the out1 slash power in port. If the device has already been connected to this port, disconnect it and move it to an unused port. Next, the cable from the customer premise equipment should be connected to the TV port on the power inserter. Then, the RF and power cable should be connected to the in port of the power inserter. This is the cable that connects to the out1 slash power in port on the amplifier. Finally, the power cable should be connected to the power adapter. Complete the installation in the same way as the direct power case by securing the power adapter to the wall outlet, attaching the yellow label, 
and verifying that the LED is on at both the power adapter and the amplifier. A green lit LED on both the power adapter and the amplifier indicates that the system is working properly. If the power adapter LED is on but the amplifier LED is off, then check or replace the power cables. If there is no RF signal on the output ports, replace the amplifier. If the power adapter LED is off but the amplifier LED is on, then the power adapter LED is not functioning properly. However, power is being supplied to the amplifier and the power connection is okay. If both LEDs are off, check the electrical outlet to make sure that it is active. If it is indeed active, then replace the power adapter. Thank you for using Comscope's Mocha Enhanced APD Subscriber Amplifier. For more information, please visit our website at www.comscope.com.